Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to explode and implode takes in Reaper. I have a project in front of us here with a bunch of guitar takes. Let's hear what it sounds like. So to switch takes, I could hit T to go through them, or I could just click on them. Take one, two, three, and four. That chooses our takes. But there are situations where we don't want to use the take system. Maybe we want to comp this guitar on multiple tracks. Maybe using a real console, and you want a different fader for each take, or you just prefer comping on multiple tracks, but you recorded it as takes. Just select it, go to the item menu, under take, and down over here are a bunch of options for exploding and imploding takes. So the first option right here is to explode all takes to new tracks. So if we choose this, Reaper's gonna create four new tracks and put one take on each of them. Now, if I play this back, we're gonna hear all of them. So what you wanna do is mute, We'll delete this track and mute these as well. And then we'll just hear one. So we can just go through comping on different tracks. Or if you want to double this guitar or triple the guitar, we can unmute them, adjust their volume, and use all of them at the same time to fatten up the sound. So that's one of the options. Another option we could select and just right click. Go to the take menu here, is to explode all takes in place. What that's gonna do is it allows us to hear all takes at the same time. But you could comp this way, by selecting these three, and then muting them, and then just unmuting the pieces you wanna work with. You could split them and unmute this piece, split this one, and go through and comp that way. Or well, like with the previous option, we could use this for doubling and tripling and having it all on the same track. Let's say you're doing background vocals and the singer's gonna sing the same part four times, but you wanna use all of it, you could explode it all to the same track and hear them all at the same time. So let's undo that and we're back to takes. Now another option is to explode all takes in order. This is gonna put each take one after another on the same track. So if we choose this, here is each take. But now they play one after another. They're no longer takes. Now it's important when you do this that the take is the length of the grid. Let's go back. If we double click this to go to our properties, we see the length is exactly two bars. If it wasn't exact, and we exploded it in order, let's make this a bit shorter. It's gonna be out of time. So it's important when you use that feature that the take is the perfect length with our grid. In this case, it's two bars. Something to keep in mind. Now, besides exploding takes, we could also implode them. Do the opposite. Let's say we recorded this guitar multiple times to multiple tracks. But afterwards, we want to use Reaper's take system. We can still do that after the fact. We don't have to comp it on multiple tracks. Just select them all, right click, go to take, and down over here, we can implode items across tracks into takes. So if we do this, it puts all the audio files into the take system. Let's put this back up here. Now we can comp it using the take system, even though they were recorded on multiple tracks. This is also very useful if you're importing takes from other DAWs. I'll just take those audio files and put them on multiple tracks and then implode them into one track to use the take system. It's very handy. Now to show you the next option, and let's say we record the guitar this way. 
Instead of using takes, the guitar player wanted to play straight through the song. So he went through and recorded the same part multiple times, one after another. But afterwards, we want to comp it to create one good performance. So we could treat these multiple pieces also into our take system. Just select them all, right click, go to take, and choose the option down here. Implode items on same track into takes. That's going to bring them all together into our take system. Now this is also important that the length lines up. So if you have to split it, just make sure the length of each item is the same. Otherwise, it can be out of time. But in this situation, we cut it or split it perfectly on the grid. So each item is the same length. And then we just select them all, go to take, and implode items on same track into takes. And then it all moves over here so we can create one great performance. Now there's one final option that's kind of cool. Let me show you. Let's say we record the guitar on different tracks. And afterwards, we wanted to comp it using Reaper's take system. But we only recorded three passes. So again, we implode it into takes, which creates that. Let's put this back to here. And let's say afterwards, we're comping it, but the guitar player is still not happy. He wants to go back and record more takes. But he doesn't want to do it on this track. He wants to do it down here, the way we recorded it. It's very simple to add an audio file back into the take system, even though it's already started. We can just select it, cut it, choose this right here, go to takes, and go down here, paste the takes in items. And that's going to add that last file as a fourth take. Right there. So we now have four takes to choose from. So we could always add audio files to our current take system. It's very flexible, giving us the option of working with the take system or not and going back and forth. So that's pretty much it. That's exploding and imploding takes in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. 